Tonight, the Chicago White Sox are bringing their A-game to Camden Yards for a crucial matchup against the Baltimore Orioles. It's a high-stakes battle as they fight to keep their playoff hopes alive in this intense Atlantic League Stratomatic baseball game. With both teams hungry for a win, every pitch and play will be crucial. Stay tuned to see if the White Sox can secure a victory and advance in the playoffs. It's game time, and the excitement is palpable. Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm back with another White Sox Atlantic League game for you. And um, at this point, we are well into August. In fact, let's take a look at the schedule. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's take a look at the schedule. We are at August 23rd. And we are playing the Orioles. And we will have Black Jack McDowell going up against Mike Messina. But before we do that, let's take a look at the standings. And as you can see, you know, we're still technically, I think, alive here for a playoff spot. We're seven games out in third place in the Central Division at 66 and 59. And we also have a better record than the second place team in the West. And we're only like four games worse than the second place team uh, in the East. And that's Baltimore. And that's the team we play today. So if we could beat Baltimore, that would be huge. So let's take a look at our Chicago stats really quick. We'll go here. Team stats. Um, 66 and 59. We are 7 and 3 in our last 10. And we've won our last two straight. So we're also playing well lately. And as you can see, Frank Thomas is leading the world for us. He's hitting 327 with 41 homers and 30 doubles. Um, we are a 262 hitting team, and we have 130 homers in 125 games, which is really not that great. Um, but we, uh, you know, we've also stolen 93 bases. And only been caught 32 times, which is a good, that's a good ratio. Pitching wise, we got a team ERA of 437. Uh, a lot of bad pitchers, though, on the staff. I'm, McDowell is actually doing, he's just doing okay. He's 6 and 11 with a 391 earned run average. Fernandez is 10 and 10 with a 341. Uh, Wilbur Wood out of the bullpen is, he's being a workhorse for us. 41 appearances, 96 and a third innings, and a 299 earned run average. And, um, a bummer and Ossenmacher are doing well out of the bullpen. So our bullpen is kind of saving us here. Uh, but, uh, we have to get on with this game and, uh, see what we can do about winning it, winning the game. So now we are going to go to, the schedule and we are going to play day and we are going to play the game uh, you can see we're the human they are the computer we have McDowell our batting our batting average our batting lineup is going to be Tim Raines leading off playing left field Joey Cora batting second at second base the big hurt Frank Thomas is going to play first base and bat third Warren Newsom is the DH batting in the cleanup spot um, you got Darren Jackson in right field, as always. Robin Ventura, the third baseman. Mike Lavalier at catcher. Ozzie Guillen at shortstop. And Lance Johnson at center field. If you're not familiar with this league and you're just seeing this game and, you know, it seems to you like it might be a one-off, we'll, I will leave the uh, previous game, you know, a link to the previous game uh, on the end screen so that you can click on that and uh, and maybe I'll even leave the, the two previous games so you can catch yourself up. Um, Mark McLemore will play second base and lead off for the Orioles. Then you got Jeffrey Hammonds in right field. Rafael Palmero batting third and playing first base. Uh, Smith at left field. Then you got Cal Ripken Jr. at shortstop batting fifth. Chris Hoyles, Hoyle the man, Hoyles is going to be the catcher batting sixth. Chris Sabo at third base, batting seventh. Um, Brady Anderson will be the DH. And Mike Davalo is going to be the center fielder. So with that, let's get on with the game. Um, we are in um, Baltimore. 
And you got Timmy Raines, Mr. Tim Raines, leading off against Mike Messina. And that is going to be a ground ball hit to McLemore. Can he beat it out? Can he beat it out? He can. He's there. All right, let's see if we can steal second. I want to see if we, we got to, we've got to get uh, creative here. No, 5%. I'm not trying at 5%. 40%, something like that, I might try it. And then, of course, Cora hits into a double play after we fail to be able to get that stolen base. So there's going to be two down and Big Frank up. And Big Frank is going to hit a single. So he goes right back up the box with a single. And Warren Newson is the batter, and he's going to pop out. Pop out the first base. So we go pretty quickly there in the first inning, and it is uh, us zero, and uh, the Orioles coming to bat. Mark McLemore, he's going to be safe as Lavalier cannot throw out McLemore, but that's going to be a ground ball C. That moves McLemore over to second base on a fielder's choice and brings up Rafael Palmero, very good hitter. He's going to hit the ball down to Ventura. Ventura is a good throwing third baseman, and he did get him. And then that brings up Dwight Smith. And Dwight Smith will strike out. Black Jack blows him away. We go to the second inning, and Darren Jackson is going to hit a single. Nice leadoff hit base hit to get us started here by Darren Jackson. Which brings up a Robin High Ventura. Let's see if he can get on. No, he's going to hit into a double play. Same thing that happened to us in the first inning. First guy gets on. Next guy hits into a double play. Lavalier is going to ground out to second base. And so we go quickly there too. We're going to the bottom of the second now. Black Jack will walk back out there and face Cal Ripken, the Iron Man. He hits the ball down to Thomas at first. And that's going to be an out. Thankfully, that's an out. Thomas, not a great fielding first baseman, but Chris Hoyles follows it up with a hit right back up the box for a single. And that brings up Chris Sabo, the sports glasses guy. And uh, he is going to hit a ball out to Gian Gian, a slick fielding shortstop, but it rolls up his arm for an error. And that brings up Brady Anderson with two on and only one out. And Ventura is going to throw him out. He only gets the runner at second, though, not the double play. And Devolo is going to hit a single and give the Orioles a lead here. So um, I am just going to I'm just going to stop the runner, and it is one nothing with McLemore up, and he is going to fly out. So that's the third out. But the Orioles take a one nothing lead here in the second inning. We really don't need that because we're potentially. Um, contending with the Orioles for a playoff spot. There's a single by Guillen. Now hopefully we don't do the same thing and hit into a ground ball double play. No, we hit into a ground ball B, so it's a fielder's choice with Johnson being at first base. And I will try to steal now again. If you got speed, you try to use it. And he does make it. And did he get? No, he didn't go over to third. But he did get over to second, so Thankfully, we have a guy at second now, and there's the ground ball double a, double double play that would have resulted in a double play, but it doesn't because we stole second, and Johnson moves over to third. So Johnson is only 90 feet away with two down, and Cora up, and he strikes out. So we don't get any runs there. We tried some, you know, we tried to play a little small ball, moving guys around on the bases, didn't work. That's going to be a pop-out for Jeffrey Hammonds to shortstop. Gian will take care of that, and it's the first out here in the Orioles' third with Palmero up, and Palmero is going to hit a home run. Are you kidding me? So uh, Blackjack gives up the second run that he's allowed, and we're down 2 nothing. That is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher by Dwight Smith, though, for the second out here in the third inning. And that brings up Cal Ripken and Cal strikes out. So we're still we're still in this thing. It's only 2 nothing. Frank Thomas is up. We'd like to see him go deep, but no, he strikes out. Messina gets the best of him. Messina though, a very good pitcher. 
And uh, that's going to be a walk by Warren Newsom, so he gets aboard. And that's, I mean, that's what he's been known for. And Darren Jackson, who singled last time but strikes out now, or will, as soon as this foul ball clears uh, the uh, stands. And he's going to strike out. And so there's two down with Robin High Ventura up, and he's going to fly out to left field. So we just can't seem to get anything really going here against Messina. We can get a guy on here, a guy on there, but it's not helping. And Hoyles, the Hoylyman, is going to fly out to left field for the first out here in the Orioles' fourth as the Orioles again lead 2-0 here in the bottom of the fourth with Chris Sabo up. Sabo's going to hit the ball to the catcher, and this time Lavalier makes the play with Brady Anderson up and Brady Anderson out. And he's going to line out to Thomas at first base. So we're going to the top of the fifth inning. We are down to nothing. We need some base runners. We need to put some stuff together. But Lavalier grounds out to second. He doesn't have that agenda himself. And that brings up Guillen, and Guillen is going to strike out. Of course, last time he had a single. And Lance Johnson is the batter, and he's going to ground out to second base. So, again, Messina is just stymieing this lineup. And um, that's going to be Devereaux going to center. And we've got a really great fielding center fielder out there, and he makes the play. So there's one down. McLemore is going to ground out to shortstop. So it's not really, so far I would say if the game plays out like this, you really can't put this at um, the feet of McDowell. He did give up two runs, but you got to have one at least to win. And that's going to be a double by Palmero, and you know they're probably going to send Hammonds for an extra base and see if he can score. And I am going to try to throw him out, even though it's unlikely and it didn't happen. And so they take a 3 nothing lead. And that is going to be a fly ball for Dwight Smith. So they're getting the runs. They get runs every so often here. And they've got a 3 nothing lead after uh, five innings. We're going to the top of the sixth. And uh, Tim Raines is going to fly out to right field for the first out. That brings up Joey Cora. Joey Cora is going to fly out to center. Just, I mean, really, this was the worst possible. Having to face Messina was not an ideal situation for us. And Thomas is up, and he'll get a base hit. He hits it right back up the box again like he did in the first inning. But can we put anything together? That's the question. We hit the ball out to center field, does Newson. Can Devolo misplay that? No, he can't. He makes the play. So you see the out-of-town scores, and we here in Baltimore are down 3 nothing. And Cal Ripken is going to line out or pop out, it looks more like, to uh, Guillen. Then you got Chris Hoyles up, and Hoyles is going to ground out to shortstop. And then you got Chris Sabo. And Sabo is going to pop out to short. If we could get any runs, if we could get anything kind of going here, we would have a shot in this game, I think, but we're in the top of the seventh right now with Darren Jackson up, and he is going to pop out to short. And he does. And uh, there's one down quickly, bringing up Ventura. And Ventura walks, so we got Ventura aboard with one down. He's at first. Lavalier up. Lavalier strikes out. And that brings up Guillen. Come on, Guillen. Come on. No, he's going to hit a fly ball to left field. So we don't get any runs in the seventh, and time is quickly not on our side. It's running out for us is what's happening. And uh, Brady Anderson will be the first batter. Definitely going to let um, McDowell pitch at least this inning. I don't think he's tired yet. That's an out. So there's one down quickly for Baltimore. Devereaux is up. Devereaux is going to hit a double. They, they're they just getting key hits. And, uh, I mean, and we're not. I mean, that's basically what's going on. Now you got McLemore as the batter, and he's going to strike out. And you know McDowell's not tired, so that isn't going to be a base hit. And Hammonds 
It's going to hit the ball out to our slick fielding Gee and it's shortstop. And uh, he did not get the... He allowed another run. Gee in the normally reliable center shortstop has made two errors. And so now we're losing 4 nothing. I don't like our chances here. Lance Johnson is the batter. We got to get something going. This has got to be at least a two-run inning, you would have to think. There's one out, and Reigns is up, and Reigns is going to walk. So we got a man aboard. And Cora is the next batter, and he's going to line out into a double play. So that doesn't happen. I am just going to let um, McDowell pitch this inning because this is going to be the bottom of the eighth. And if we don't score four runs on the top of the ninth, and he gives up another home run, another run. We really can't afford that. But, I mean, really, are we going to score four runs on Messina, especially if they send Messina back out there? That's going to be a ground ball by Ripken. Ripken has not had a very good day today. He is one guy that McDowell has been able to really shut down. Another shortstop X. Let's see if he can make this play. And he does make it, so this time Gian gets the guy, and there's two down with Sabo up, and Sabo is going to hit a single. Sabo is aboard with two down, and Brady Anderson is the batter, and Brady Anderson's going to rip a double, and you now this is just not going to be our day. I'm going to throw for the lead runner because I got to. Doesn't work. They take a 6 nothing lead. Ground ball to second base. And uh, they do send Messina out there, not surprisingly. Top of the ninth here, we're down six with uh, Big Frank up, and Frank walks. That's nice. I mean, you know, a home run there really wouldn't have even helped a, a hell of a lot. So there's a ground ball to first base. Newson grounds it out to grounds it to Palmero, but he makes the Palmero makes the play, and Darren Jackson is the batter, and he's going to line out into a double play and end this thing mercifully. We were just really schooled by Messina in this game. So there you go. Both pitchers pitch go the distance. Uh, McDowell goes eight, allows uh, nine hits, four earned runs. Um, and Messina goes nine and pitches a shutout with only five hits allowed. You can see the box score there for the batters above. And uh, that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.